We'll start with the Mustard C70 size 4 saltwater hook. This is one of my sea tray patterns that is kind of a fusion inspired by all the Danish patterns that use grizzly hackle. Uh, this has been a very good pattern for me over the last few years. So we'll just attach our tying thread. Then what we need is two grizzly hackles, approximately the same size. So we want these the same length, like this. And we place them about a hook length out, hold them in position. There we are. Then we can go back, just attach this to the hook shank. Don't have to be neat here. Let's just get rid of these two. Like so. Almost a bit too long that. I like coming out over the hook eye. Take that out of the way. Okay, good. Keep our tying thread up there. Then it should look like this out from each side with a little beard. So, what we need now is a dubbing needle and some eyes. So these eyes we place one each side. Size and colour is your choice. And I like these 3D eyes. We'll put these on. Just position your feelers again. Just to line them up properly. That'll do it. Then we take a drop of UV resin. And firstly just a drop in between. Like so. Give that a blast. I found my pedal. Just to hold them in position. Like so. And turn them over. And a drop there. There we go. Now we can cover the whole thing. With the UV resin. Best that we do it a little at a time, otherwise it'll just get too much. Good. And if you're rotating your vice, be careful you don't rotate your tying thread all the way off. Just give that another blast. And you can weight this if you wish bit of uh, lead on the underside of the hook shank. Okay, that'll do us there. <clears throat> then what we want to do is go back again with our tying thread. And then we need a nice long grizzle hackle, webby one. And we'll tie this in, right in behind the eye and then just secure it along the hook shank. Trim it off. So we go back. Then we need to unwind our thread. And while that's doing its thing I'll show you <clears throat> my other little trick here. I need some 
flash now, so my stubbing, in a clip. And the way I do this is I just pull it out of the bag like this. And then I place my clip on. And then I trim that off. So that's what we get. Then I can split my thread. And just split that. Take our clip, place it in. Now, if you put your finger on the thread on the clip, you can hold it in position while you release your clip. There we go. And then just spin that up. this on, go back, there we are, <clears throat> then I need my hackle plier, I like using a hackle plier on this and we'll just place, sorry, hackle plier central. Uh, this is uh, what we want is a couple of turns there and then we go back and we palmer our way all the way back like this. can tie that off tie everything down like so our whip finish tool and remove the tying thread. Now it doesn't look very good like that at the moment. Um, let's have a look if I've got my brush here. We'll just give that a bit of a brush just to pull out the dubbing. So there's a bit more flash in there. There we are. And wet your fingers and pull everything back. Then I take a drinking straw or a section of a drinking straw and along one of these lines I just make a little cut. I place, get all the fibres going the right way, place the drinking straw over the fly, if I can get my eyes open, and then I place that on a radiator to dry. And here's the one I did earlier. We'll just put that one in there. And that's how it looks when it's finished. And it is uh, it has worked really well for me this pattern with the flash and the grizzle ackle and the eye. Uh, so if you're fishing sea trout or any other saltwater uh, species for that matter, give it a go. Thanks for watching.